It is a shocking case of a state employee accused of sexually violating dozens of female colleagues. The man worked for the Department of Education. Now he's out of a job and sitting in jail. CBS 4 investigator Brian Moss breaking the story tonight from the Denver jail outside the jail. And Brian, you did talk to the man's wife. Yeah, and she said she had no idea that her husband was leading a secret double life. By day, he was a respected mid-level manager at the Colorado Department of Education, a doting husband. Truth was, he was hiding some very dark and disturbing secrets. Each time I hear a name, each time I hear what he's done is just so heartbreaking. Tracy Ta was the last to know. It's not a Band-Aid being ripped off, it's duct tape being pulled slowly <laughs> off. For nearly a decade, she was married to Tan Ta, a purchasing agent at the Colorado Department of Education. In September, he told his wife a vague story about how he was suspended from work for accidentally downloading a computer virus. Days later, a late night knock at her door. It was uh, the police department, and it was several people in uniform, and there was a detective. According to police records, Tan Ta had actually been using his iPhone to take pictures up the skirts of female co-workers for years, using his state computer to download the photos to a hard drive and categorizing them by his co-workers' names. Police had a search warrant and turned Tracy Ta's house and life upside down. Her husband now facing dozens of charges of invasion of privacy. There was never, ever a time in my life, in our entire nine years together, that I ever suspected anything. I never saw him doing anything inappropriate. It just tells me that he'd become so skilled at this, which is sad to say. Do you think your husband was living kind of a double life? Absolutely. This creep had a file name with my name with hundreds of photos. Going up a staircase, going up my skirt, down my shirt between my legs. Amy Skinner worked at the Department of Education and considered Tan Ta a friend. That's the part that just keeps percolating and going in my mind nonstop is I should have been safe at work. We don't normally identify alleged victims of sex crimes, but Skinner said she wanted to stand up and be heard for other women who have yet to be identified. He had thousands of photos of women from the 16th Street Mall, from in line at Starbucks, everywhere. They had no idea their photo was being taken. According to police records, Tan Ta, a Vietnamese immigrant, confessed to the secret picture saying he has a problem and knows this is not normal. What would be at the forefront is just um, disgust and horror and such an invasion. They were violated in, in places that they, they had every right to feel secure and comfortable. Tan Ta has pleaded not guilty to all those counts he's facing. He's being held here at the Denver City Jail on half a million dollars bond. Ta turned down our request for an interview. His wife has begun divorce proceedings. Covering Colorado First, I'm CBS4 investigator Brian Moss. Brian, thank you.